four days ago, five days ago, on The View. They had uh, uh, Jane Fonda on there, and she was talking about abortion, and she said she actually called for the murder of pro-abortion politicians. Pretty serious, right? But And everybody on the panel starts laughing. Oh, she's just joking. And she has this very serious face the whole time, like she's not joking. And then the next day, the... And the next day was the only other thing I heard about it. Uh, the View came out and said, hey, she was just joking. That's it. Not a very funny joke, right? Well, over the week or the next day, Mike Pence goes to a political roast. Okay, it's a political roast. That's The whole point of this is to roast each other. Mike Pence told a joke uh, that went something like this. Pete Buttigieg is the only guy to ever go on paternity leave and everybody else gets postpartum depression. The joke being that he went on the paternity leave and, you know, we had the all these different crises pop up, the supply chain crisis, and his joke was that, oh, everybody else had to suffer because you were away, which is totally true, right? And it's a political roast where even if it wasn't a political roast, like somebody has every right to make fun of a politician uh, who's doing a bad job or any politician for any reason. We have a First Amendment right, right? And especially in comedy and especially at a roast, that's the whole purpose. Well, they didn't like that. They've been complaining about it for two days, which is just like, you guys said that this call to murder pro-life politicians was a joke, yet you're gonna come after Mike Pence for that? And they're calling it homophobic, right? What's homophobic about that? It doesn't mention anything about gayness or anything. It's, it's a joke about him being on paternity and uh, the, everything going downhill after that. Like, in some way of like trying to like uh, shield Pete Buttigieg from criticism. Like it's totally legitimate criticism, but they're trying to shield him from it by saying this was a homophobic joke. Check this out. Well, let's get into the joke, right? <laughs> Alleged joke that the former vice president made. Alleged joke, like what the hell? They said it was a joke to say you should murder pro-life. Like, oh, I just, I can't stand how they just pretend like that never happened and just continue with their propaganda. It's unreal. Uh, about your husband, Secretary Buttigieg. Mm -hmm. We aren't going to repeat it. Um, and the White House has slammed the comments. <laughs> we're not going to repeat it. Which they were, in my view. I'll repeat it. He said that Pete Buttigieg is the only guy to ever take paternity leave and everybody else gets postpartum depression. The joke being that he went on paternity leave and everything went to shit. Oh my God, I can't repeat that. <gasps> and inappropriate. But Mike Pence's what? former chief of staff called the response from the White House faux outrage. Right, it is. What was your initial reaction when you heard this? I think it's not woke, uh, you know, to to say that something is homophobic or misogynistic. It doesn't this one's the perfect It is for the not homophobic or misogynistic. That, just because they say it, it is, doesn't mean it is. Make it no. woke, you know, it doesn't make you a snowflake to... to <laughs> No, it does. It makes you woke because you're using, you're basically just, you're performing theater in order to get some sort of like social power over people. That's exactly what woke is. And that's what he's doing. So yes, it is. Tell someone that they've made a mistake. Yeah. And you know, I spoke up for two You've reasons. You've made a mistake. Uh, one, I'm always going to stick up for my family. Yeah. Especially my kid. Yeah. Right? yeah. What? <laughs> stick up for your kid? Your kid had nothing to do with the joke. The joke that was that Pete Buttigieg took uh, a two-month vacation when that's not really needed you know the the two month i understand their kid was on a ventilator you know my kid was too for a couple days just like you know that doesn't require a two-month uh vacation he so that's the joke and there's nothing misogynistic or homophobic about it. misogynistic like we're talking about a man here we're talking about a joke at a political roast about another man man to man but he calls it homophobic and misogynistic even though there's nothing about gay in the joke and there's like literally this is pure theater by these people and, uh, yeah. i don't know if you had that picture there of gus in the hospital but yeah i know we all struggle to find a balance between work and family life and i've never seen someone work harder than my husband to yes. find that balance but no he's not working hard that's the joke and we're allowed to we're allowed to criticize him for that I think Republican or Democrat, we can all agree that when your child, our, our prematurely born child, mm -hmm. barely five pounds, when your kid is connected to a ventilator, you don't want to be anywhere but at their bedside. That's where you're going to be. Right, but that was not for two months. The baby was not on a ventilator for two months.
Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know. but and that has nothing to do with this joke. Like they're just can, they're just bringing all these these things in. Uh, it's just it makes me sick to my stomach. These people pretending like some major wrong has been done to them. I'm glad Pence uh, Pence's office reacted the way they did, saying that this is just theater. That, that is all it is. They're just trying to score political points on the View, on a place where just a couple days ago they called for the murder of pro-life politicians and said it was a joke.